We need this rain. But yeah, but wait, my car was going like this. The wind came. Yeah, it's pouring out just like it's been. It's been getting pretty bad. Now, in case you're wondering why I'm using the old camera, it's because my flip camera froze up on me. Oh, okay, so the batteries work. Yeah, these batteries are working. So, yeah, I'm using the old camera for a change. And it's raining pretty good out. Okay, so is this car right? Yeah. It got real dark out earlier, like... Oh, it was black toward Frankfurt. Yeah, it got like a greenish black. When I, would, I first left. I, I would have recorded it, but as you know, my other camera froze. Your, uh, parole vehicle is in there. I know. Here, here we go with the downpours again. Not right now. It sucks I have to use... It sucks I have to use the old camera instead of the new one. Well, we the old one works when you need it. Yeah. At least I got backup in case the HD one like my flip freezes. Yesterday me and my dad were up here and we went to the dollar store. Oh, you were with your dad yesterday? Oh, incidentally, Bill, I went to that place. They said use the stamps for post. Look at the splash that that car just made. There weren't nothing and, and they said the Indian had pennies were only worth a couple all right, well, we just got done shopping at Waltz, and uh, the weather is cool. Anybody coming? Why is it better since we took these things off? Yeah, look, at the, no. the temperature outside. These things off. The temperature outside. I rich, they were dangerous. The temperature outside is perfect now. Yeah, we just got done at Waltz. I didn't really, re I didn't record in there. Just nothing really to see in there. So. She told me you're selling your truck. Is that right? How much did you get for it? Five hundred. Got five hundred for the truck. Well, that means no more gardening in the back of it for you then. Yeah. So you gave it to him. It was like kind of messed up. Oh, that's a good thing. Uncle Bill's cat is like never out and it's out so I just took a picture once again it's refreshing seeing all my old furniture in the Bill man's apartment <laughs> oh so this is from that train yeah, but we'll read it when the rail. yeah so this train crash happened directly next to the apartment subdivision where I live directly next to it and it's in the newspaper and that's, look at that's a car. There's the car. Okay, Bill, here's your potato. That is the car. I'm assuming that's like the trunk. Oh, Winston, but I I I really car. can't show you could you could see like some of the train oh right there. Oh my god. <gasps> yeah, see that was really a big article. Okay, yeah. You're lucky you weren't in that car, huh, Bill? Here, read the last two paragraphs. And that so all the lights went out first, and then it just started shaking. Then my he heart felt like racing. Yeah? Tinley Park resident. Tinley Park resident Noel Sislow, who was on her way to work, was seated in the second car. Sislow? I think it was one of his daughters. Who? Nick. Who's Nick? The guy that bought my truck. Yeah. The guy that bought your truck was involved with that? No, that's no one of his she was daughters. on the train. The, the daughter of the guy that yeah, bought your truck? -S -S yeah. Yeah. Whoa, well, now that is a coincidence, Bill. The guy that bought your truck, his daughter, was on that train during the crash? Yeah. Now that is a coincidence, isn't it? No, I'll read you the best part. Hold okay. On. What's the best part? Hold on. I'm almost afraid to hear what the best part is. It feels weird using this old camera again. See now, Kenny, that's the train that Marilyn takes coming home. Oh no, that one was going down. What was she doing going downtown, his daughter, at that hour? Didn't that happen around three thirty? Yeah. 
So what's the best part I'm here? I'm looking, I'm looking. Do you remember where it was? Was it towards the end, or where was it in the story? I'm going to read it. Passengers say they saw two bodies, one by the tracks, another by the creek. The car's bloody windshield was hanging off the front of the train. Tori said there was a severed foot on the track. <laughs> there is a sev So there were severed limbs of these two 80-year-old women in the car everywhere. Wow. Metric trash kills, too. More like slaughters, brutally slaughters, too, if they found limbs and feet and all that stuff all over the train tracks and of course they don't have any pictures of that but and this is one lock, lucky cop being in the newspaper I was in the newspaper once for my spelling bee back in the sixth grade wow injured train passenger it was overwhelming now that would have been a bizarre experience to get on tape if I had my camera with me on that See, now this just proves tr trains are not safer than planes, which a lot of people seem to overlook. This book, Natural Cures They Don't Want You to Know About by Kevin Trudeau, this is a weird book. It talks about everything we eat is somehow wrong. Right, read one passage from it. Sounds pretty intense. All right, this is mostly about meat. Meat. A, con a conventional animal has been genetically modified in breeding, thus becoming an animal that could never occur naturally. An organic animal is genetics that have not been modified by man and is in the most natural state. A conventional animal is injected with growth hormones and antibiotics, meaning that the meat we consume is then loaded with these drugs. Conventional animal is not allowed to roam freely or exercise normally, thus creating an incredibly toxic animal that is unnaturally obese and diseased. A conventional animal is fed an unnatural diet of chemicals that feed it that it would never eat naturally. Conventional cows, for example, are also fed ground-up cow parts, pig parts, goat parts, and horse parts. Many of these ground-up animal parts are from diseased, sick animals that are not fit for human consumption. Keep in mind, the cow is a vegetarian to begin with that is not designed to be eating ground-up meat. A conventional animal is slaughtered by being shot in the head with a bolt. The animal experiences incredible pain and trauma. Adrenaline, which is highly poisonous, permeates across the animal's tissue. The blood, which is loaded with toxins, also permeates the tissue. The trauma causes the energy field in and around the animal to become highly negative. The animal usually dies in its own urine and feces. An organic animal that is also kosher is killed in the most humane way possible by slicing its throat. The animal experiences no pain, is immediately drained of all blood, its internal organs are inspected to make sure the animal is 100% healthy and the tissue is salted to draw out any blood and kill any bacteria. A conventional animal is usually aged, which means animal flesh is hung in a dark room and allowed to rot. A green mold covers the rotting animal flesh. The green toxic mold is bacteria that tenderizes the meat but also fills the meat with more toxic poisons. Is this is this book the reason you're going on a diet? No. <laughs> it's just a book I hey, had. Ev that father gave me that a long time ago. Everybody, ago. every bad. single Borders store in the country, all Borders are going out of business. They're all liquidating. So go to Borders, buy this from their liquidation stuff. There's, they're running TV commercials. This is the first edition. They just re-released this book. What more? Yeah, they're giving them away for free now on TV. You see the commercial, you call the 800 number, and they'll send you one for free. So everybody, take a good look at that. slide I'll show. Look at Daredevil going backwards here. Ooh. That's good. Well, here's 
just a girl going down in a tube. I just got out. Here's the diving board. I don't even know who any of these kids are. It's just like a little party for that guy. Fun bit of trivia for you. That guy in the white shirt right there. That guy right there in the middle, he used to play for the Chicago Blackhawks. His name is John Gagnon. He's the guy that used to play for the Chicago Blackhawks, John Gagnon. The ex Chicago Blackhawk, right there. He is 60 years old today. And that's his wife standing next to him. Nobody wants to see that. Once again, he is virtually the only guy at this party I know. I have no clue who anyone else is. The ex Blackhawk is about to go in the pool. Wait, maybe not. Now he's just sort of walking in the back. Mr. Guy is going down the slide. The ex Blackhawk is now going down the slide. Everybody over there was clapping. It's getting kind of cloudy. Oh, geez, that got all the way on my legs. Okay, I'm right here. Just jump. Go ahead and run and jump. I'm right here, baby. I got you. I got you. Jump up, baby. Come on. You'll like it. Go ahead. Come on. Come on. Show her. Come on, Maddie. Come on, Maddie. Come on. Come on, baby. I'm right here. Look at me. I'm right here. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, Maddie. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Jump. Jump. Come on. Jump to me. I'm right here, baby. I'll catch you. I'm going to catch you. I'm going to come on. I'll catch you. Come on, baby. I'll, come on. I'm going to catch you. You can do it. Look at it. Come on. You can do it, baby. The look on her face. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Why don't you count? Let's count. One, two, three. Four, five.
Going on for three minutes and eight seconds already. Ready? Straight out, man. Straight out. Two, three. <laughs> no, no, she sat on her butt. Yeah, kind of. She kind of slipped. She kind of slipped a little bit on that. She hit her butt. <laughs> she hit her butt. Yeah. Closer look at the slide. Go. Stand up. Stand over. You can see the water flowing on that slide too. And like I'll, I'll get a real close look at the. Uh, he went head first. Just another view of the party over there. And the. Uh, you can see like water coming down the slide, pretty good speed. See under the slide there's a bunch of plants. The neighbors got a similar pool. The slide looks like a heel. Oh jeez. <laughs> it startled me. Like they're trying to dodge the uh, water gun over there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's like I got a bush to hide behind. And if that fails, I'll go under the slide. <laughs> I'm blow drying myself. Walk around with tags on my pants. Yeah, I know. Uh oh. Yeah, I had a tag. Kelly bought your new pants. Kelly bought your new pants. Kelly bought your new pants. Then take the tags off. Yeah. This isn't good. He's going on the oh, slide. Oh, is this a bride for Jen? Yeah. Oh. Jen! Somebody's here for you. Thank you so much. What the hell is this? Oh, this is fun. Jen's going on the slide. 
You better get some water on it, Tom. The slide is dry and John's going down in his belly. I don't think that's going to work. Don't put the water on. I knew my bowels. What? Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, that had to hurt. Yeah, that burned a little. What is this? I don't know. What's this? I don't know. <laughs> I got I got I, got, now, really. I got my camera rolling so it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> Nico. What do you what do you put the mic? What it? Yes, it's it's beyond what I waited all my life for. Who is this? What the hell? Oh, lucky guy. I wonder, what was your name? Chris. You're Chris? Oh, there was a guy. I don't know, John, Johnny G. Strange. Ah! <laughs> 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 okay, are there little kids around, can I say? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, it's a beautiful place for a shower, but it's also a beautiful place for a 60th birthday. Let's give the hosts a great big hand. I have been looking for the man of my dreams my whole life, and I almost didn't recognize him. I was in the pool! He's probably lost 25 or 30 pounds since. <laughs> and I'm telling you, I put it all on. Look, I mean, the <laughs> This is whack. I, I have been waiting my whole life for this moment. I've been reading my Martha Stewart Bible of Weddings. Okay, thank you so much for the chair. Um, you know what? You might recognize me with these a little better. What's in the clock? What's in the clock? It's it's time to get married, baby. You're 60 now. You're a big boy. I can hear you. Now what I'd like to do is we're gonna do a little just because I want to marry a guy that's you know got it right. So let's see. What's your what's your name? Vince. Okay, Vince. You're hit me hard with that. I'm gonna have Vince here. Is Vince a friend? Oh yes. Okay. Yeah. They're all actually, friends. Actually, we're married. Okay. Well, I've heard you were once engaged to your sister-in-law. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> This is whack. Watch it. Vince is going to crush this rock to smithereens. Ready? One, two, three. Vince, crush it. What happened there? Try to get right. One. All right. One, two, three. Say, go, Vince. Go, Vince. Go, Vince. Go, Vince. Go, Vince. Go, Vince. Okay. We're going to let, if you guys want to film this, this is going to be amazing. Johnny's going to crush this rock. Johnny, Mr. Johnny P. G. String is going to crush this rock. When you crush it, just put this metal. I've gotten this whole thing on tape. Okay. Off, right? On the count of three, now everybody say it, right? Before you do it. Ready? Everybody go. Go, Johnny. Go, Johnny. Go, Johnny. Go, Johnny. Go, Johnny. Go, Johnny. One, two, three. Crush it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, the smithereens. Look at that. It's gone. Give him a hand. <laughs> okay. You got the string. You got 
got the brains. Let's see. Let's see. What do you do for a living now? You're in an uh, you're an elevator. Yeah, I'm an elevator. And don't you hate when? <laughs> I'm an elevator. He's an elevator. Don't you hate when? Diesel doozy. No, that's not what I heard about you. <laughs> I did the poll. I told you. You know what? No, I'm saying it's like I heard that your boss loves you so much. Or the guy you work for loves you so much. He he has this big shindig here. You know, Thank but don't you? Thank you very you, much. Don't It's ups and downs. Like it's the first yeah. time you've ever heard. You know what I like to do in an elevator? There's kids. I know. It's okay. G rated. All my clothes will stay on, so nobody's eyeballs have to bleed. Okay? The way I said, I heard that you actually do have a woman. I have a woman. Her name is Terry the Hammer. <laughs> Richie the Hammer Janelli. I'm over here by your man. I wait a long time for this. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I like to do on an elevator? Now, you already have your own ideas. What I like to do? Everybody try this. It'll drive nuts. You get on a crowded elevator, right? You step on, you turn around, press your button. No, not all of them. Let the kids do that. You turn around when the elevator starts moving, especially in a big tall building. And you look at these kids and you say, you may be wondering why I've called you all together today. <laughs> it's fun. You see the look on their face. It's amazing. Um, I have a little gift for you each. I know you like to hang out at JC's Pub. Just to shake it up a little bit when you're eating your fries, your chicken wings, whatever you're eating. Try eating them with chopsticks, okay? It's just, we just, I mean, I heard you got a lot of spice in your life and everything, but I just think that that's a great thing. And I got to tell you, folks, here, wait. You know how those people like to, you know, like the elevator, you're working on it, and then the doors open and they want to step in with their baby stroller? Look at this. Just, okay, everybody stand back, okay? We got the yellow comb going on there. I'm going to need a little bit of help deciding. Obviously, I can't have him. He's yours. You can have him if you want. <laughs> Cinderella. <laughs> Runaway bride, but I run after them as they're running away. Run away, Ben. Isn't he hot? Look at this man. Give him a hand. Look at this thing. My favorite, although I think you're a much Mission Impossible. handsomer than Tom Cruise. Mission Impossible. Those are the movies that I've been watching lately. Now, the other thing that, now, you hang out at JC's. Where's your sportswear? Usually, well, you're in the pool. I was in the pool, again. Okay. But you got a bear, you got a cop's t-shirt, Victoria's Secret. Can you shout out black or white? Ready? One, two, three. Black. Black. Okay, so black. <laughs> it's a black speedo. <laughs> uh, can't peek. You might want him later. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, that might come in handy. Oh, oh. Okay. Black or ready? White. Oh. Oh. Okay. okay. It's stink. It's got to stink. Okay. I mean, this is the woman that you're missing out on. Okay. But it's like. <laughs> <laughs> I won't say anything else. Or that, She's dragging the cone. You have a seat. You have a seat. 
Um, couple other little things. Let's see. You played hockey, did you? Yes, I did. Do you still play? Oh, uh, no. I just play. You just play, but you don't play. You watch it, I bet. Oh, I watch it. Um, Something else about you that I thought was terribly interesting. Everybody's going, ooh, what is it? You see the look on all your faces. I love this part of it. Ooh, what are we going to find out? Um, we know about holy mm, balls. Um, and you like crime scene investigations. Now, do you ever run across those in the elevator business? I've been stuck you, baby. I've been everywhere. I mean, you'd be surprised at things that you can hear when you're sitting at a bar, folks. Just a little FYI.
Jenny and the clock. What's this thing feel like? Okay. Glad to touch it. Who cares about the clock? She forgot the Victor the, the magazine. magazine. Right? The magazine. That's that is way more valuable. That is. That is Martha. Yeah, no more drinking at JC. And as soon as she came, the bride is now leaving. You can see them beginning to take down the Tinley Ice Place I've been showing lately. As for the concert in the park, we got here earlier, and as you can see, they are still setting up. I don't really show this area here by the fountain too often, so I'll give a little tour of it. Right here in the middle, you got the big area, like right there with the benches where the fountain is. And uh, now you got this little walkway that leads out to where the concert's gonna be. Uh, as for here, there, there's paths you can take that go around it. You can take shortcuts through this, like right there, and, and you go over there, and then you can pretty much just walk this way too. And uh, you've got this pretty big little area back here. Check out those clouds. They look like thunderstorm clouds. But anyways, uh, yeah, so you got that, then you got this big area back here, and it's just, uh, it's back here. Then you can see two of the Tinley Park benches right here. Uh, this one happens to be the Abraham Lincoln bench, so. Yeah, so there's my little tour of the fountain area, and that's it. Check out those two birds. There's one right there by the armrest. I'm going to go in for a closer look. It's running. Oh, they flew once they saw me. There's a train coming. Where is it though? That's the question. And the gates just go back up. What in the hell was that? Okay, the gates are going down again. This time, is, is there actually going to be a train? Yes, there is. There is actually a train this time. The gates are not just going to go down and then up again for no reason like they just did. It should be coming because I hear it, so it's not a false alarm like it was last time. I hear it over there. Here it comes. Here's the train. It's stopping over there at the train station. Hang on. When it uh, gets going again, I'll take another picture of it. I, th I don't know how long it's gonna take it, so I'll just keep recording. Hear the the dinger thing going off over there. For some reason, my voice isn't really deep today. Heck, I have a sore throat. Okay, here it comes.
I noticed how they finally started condemning the Tinley Ice Place over there. I wonder if they're gonna blow the rest of it up. That'd be cool. That'd be, that'd be cool if they did blow it up. I, I'd want to catch that on camera. He's got his own chair, don't worry. He got his own chair, don't worry. Did you leave that quarter after? Man, you're sweating. It looks like you really got to work out. Yeah, it looks like you got a good exercise. Yeah, I know. I need, I have to. Now, Riley is highly against ladybugs. See, now that's how much he hates ladybugs. He's dead now. Everybody see that monkey? See those blue and yellow balloons? I don't think those are any old balloons. Maybe if we go there, we can get a discount because it's Sam and Jake. So maybe we're <laughs> interested. Oh. No, that red. Riley, do you, do you drink Bush Light? Yes, yes, he does. Wait, where? What about you? Do you drink bush light? Yes, yes I do. Do you drink bush light? Yes. Do you drink bush light? No. Get a light! Do you drink bush light? I'm going to talk to the clouds. Have you ever drinking bush light? <laughs> no. Have you, have you ever drinking bush light? Have you? No. Okay, got two for no, four for yes. You drink bush light. I know you drink bush light. I don't. What about you? Do you drink bush light? You do. Of course I do. You don't even. I did on New Year's Eve this one time when I had a Jello shot. This has been the best fake fight ever. <laughs> I'm it, Colin. I got a Ooh. Come on. Got you. I got you at the same time, so technically. Hold on. No, time out, time out. I'm gonna yeah. wrestle Riley. No, hold on. Wrestle Riley. No, make it. I'm gonna. No, 
if you give me your camera, let's make. I'm gonna make a video called Running Run. Okay, see now we got eight versus seven in the armpit match. You mean the arm wrestling match? Yeah. Now this kid can also be viewable in my video Thursday vlog six slash nine slash eleven. My June 9th vlog where my uncle says he looks like a guy from a picture. And then there's that guy. It's the arm wrestling match between Mr. Bigglesworth and Evan, aka the kid from Thursday Vlog, June 9th, 2011. Mr. Bigglesworth is the best cat ever. He's my hair. Alright, right, they're doing the arm wrestling. They're doing the arm wrestling. Come on, let go, let go. No, I'm not. Alright, put your elbow on the ground. Ready? And begin. Domination. He's a dominatrix. Not okay. really. I'm a flippy. Oh wait, I got shoes. All right, we'll do it. Do it. Just do it anyway. <laughs> Just go. Go. No, he can. I got my. <laughs> I got my swim trunks. Wait, no, I don't. I got shorts. Come on, Evan. Do the Evan dance. Come on, do it. Do it. Do the worm. Do the worm. Yeah. Oh yeah, Evan. <laughs> 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 he looks like a dead man. He looks like I'm gonna kill you. He looks like a camel trying to win. He looks like he looks like some old man having a heart attack. Yeah. Whoa, I got that on tape. I got that on tape. Whoa. You okay? I want it. Ch I want it. Charlie. I'm fading into the light. Charlie. That guy's going. I got that all on put tape. That, put that on YouTube. I, do you want me to give you my YouTube name? Yes. Do you got a piece of paper for me to write it down on? No, I sir. I, got you I don't have a play subscript. Can you go ask your mama? She's got it in her purse so I can write it down. Hey, I got to see my fail. Oh, you will. Charlie, what now. Are you gonna Oh, it's a Phil, week, it's a, it's gonna, it's a weekend vlog. I, I'll send it to you on Facebook. Alright. When it's, when it's uploaded, I, I should have it up by oh, Monday. Oh, did you send me my video? I sent you the, I, I sent you the link to my channel, so okay, anyway. Okay, okay, we're gonna do, we're gonna do, say it one. Go, go. Do, do. Hang on, let me go ahead of you. No, no, you gotta hide. I can't, I don't know you what you want. No, but. No, act like it's a cool. That's what I always do. <laughs> What's your YouTube name? Hey, I'll tell you later. Dude, it can't be in, like this. It has to be like. I'm on a boat. Hey, hang on, Ryan. No more. All right, Riley, go. My older friend. No. Wait, but you can't hear what he's saying. This is. Our womanizer is at it again. <laughs> no, we gotta get a stick. Put it in. <laughs> <laughs> he just ran real quick. <laughs> oh. Riley, like. Do something in front of my pants are too. So are mine. I'll do yeah, who has squishy pants? You, we have squishy pants. No, yes. do it in front of them. I They're playing football with a water bottle. Ready? No, you know, <laughs> he's going in for the touchdown. <laughs> By the way, there's the wrong side. You stupid. We just gotta touch. <laughs> Dude, you went to the wrong side. You scored it. Wrong side. What do you mean? 
What did you make? No, Riley made a touchdown on the wrong side. some random teenage girls a flower. So what? Is... So what? Go, go. Wait, I need a bigger stem. Check out this thing.
Check out this thing. There is a princess at this little ice cream stand. This place doesn't even have a name, it's just the home of thick malts. And there's a princess here. I'm gonna sit down. I wonder how late this place is open until. Or maybe Home of the Thick Malts is the name of this place, I don't know. There's Grandma Stell, Rich, and the Princess. Over there, everything is closed. I have ne have never eaten here in my life. This place has been here 60 years. You Are you like the owner? He is the owner of Whitey's, <laughs> Whitey's Dairy Palace. He's the owner. We were just having a nice conversation with him as he's hosing the parking lot off. Okay, I got a good name. I don't know about you guys. What? So what do I do? What do you I'm gonna say icy. Come on, Rich. Rich is. Rich went into her castle. You should know what her name is. Rich went inside of the fairy tale and into her castle. That's how good this guy Rich is. There's a girl with a mop over there. I see lightning out there in the distance. I don't know if that's heat lightning or not. Don't don't worry, you got the best rules. That that guy is awesome. Even though I've never met him until tonight. Is this your grandmother? Yes it is. <laughs> this is my grandmother. Unfortunately. <laughs> Stell. Her she's Stell, I'm Ken, and the and the guy that's rich. He's a rich guy? <laughs> He, his name is Rich, and he is rich. Oh, that's good. Your grandma did well. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he live he lives underneath the floorboards of your place. You just don't know it yet. Oh yes, I do. Oh, so you. I live under there. Oh, you're his roommate. Oh God. The owner of Whitey's is Rich, his roommate. That is amazing. He's your roommate, Rich. Fine, I give him free. Okay, did you think of a name yet? <laughs> no. Put your name down and let's go. <laughs> hold on. You wanna hold us? Kenny, did you think of a name yet? I'm I'm Well I'll tell you what, why don't you keep that piece of paper and then you come down here tomorrow or the next day after you've decided and put it in the book. Oh, okay. Well, I, I live I live right over there in Edgewater Walk, so I can like walk it up here. Oh. Right, that sounds good. Okay. And I, I love this. Thank you, sir. The, the place is now closed and we are the last ones here. Wait sir, a, see, don't we, you think that you would do more business staying open later because of the concert? Well, yeah, but I don't need the money. <laughs> oh, see, <okay. laughs> see, since he's Rich's roommate, he is rich. 
See, now we should be customers of the month right here. Like, we're the last ones here. So we're sitting here talking to the owner. John Whitey? John, everybody has one. John, John Smith, John Doe. Hey, let me, I'm going I'm to throw, throw this away real fast. Okay, yeah. Oh, God. See you, John. All right, there, Ken. See you. Bye-bye, John. Bye-bye, <laughs> Doe. That's a way to end the night right there. Okay. Woo. That's some of the... We had fun, didn't we, Kenny? That was some good ice cream. Mm -hmm. That's some of the best vanilla. That's way better than... Yeah, but Kenny, except I thought I ordered you a regular cone, you know. That's... Well, wasn't that good? Yeah, that was good. I give John props. <laughs> He's close. Right. I figured he didn't need it. You know? I, I was I never even been here before in my life. Because so. I said, why didn't you stay open later with the concert? He said, I don't need the money. Because he's so rich. What's to do to stay alive? I don't know. Something for him to do. Uh, may, he pre maybe he has a second job or something. You don't know. No, he doesn't. He's retired. Maybe. maybe. He's getting Social Security. <laughs> Maybe he has more money than you know what to do with. Maybe he's Batman. That guy, John, that guy is Batman. He is Batman. You're okay here, Richie. John right there, the owner of Whitey's. That's Batman. There he goes. I think we have more fun, right, Kenny? Yeah. Bye-bye, John. Me. All right, Jason just hit a nice shot in Mario Golf Toadstool Tour. All right, now everybody, watch me do it. I'm holding the camera with one hand, doing it with the other. And no, I don't mean it in a dirty Your way. Turning. Oh, the analog stick on this is messed up. No, the, the wireless ones do that sometimes, it's alright. Alright. Here, just give it a... Yeah, there we go. Nice shot. Yoshi's Gay Rainbow. Remember yeah. That? Wasn't that with Connor? I'm taunting you. You did not get a nice shot, so it must not have been too nice. Oh! You turned on. I don't know why I just do that. Stupid me. Oh, but it wasn't a nice shot. Oh, damn, I almost had an eagle. Okay, hole nine, par five. I'm going for a birdie. Jeez, that doesn't even sound like Mario one bit. Come on, get a birdie. And look at me, I did it. He's doing the victory dance. Yeah, see, we got Mario Golf Toadstool Tour. Ten other games we got here. We got Super Mario Sunshine. Robots. 
and the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory game. And Jason continues to miss. Jeez, what are you going for, triple bogey? I think so. Yes! J One bad hole. If, if you do the tournaments, you got to not get that. Kenny, I was beating you for a half of the game. It hasn't, well, maybe. I'm not beating you anymore. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm winning plus two to plus four. I'm usually a lot better, but I haven't played this game for a while. And now I'm going. I'm teeing off, so let's check this out. Check out that awesome view. Come on, JC Penny. Where's my nice shot? You don't deserve one. I never deserve one. Oh, I'm in the fringe. I'm in the bunker. Oh, dear God, no. Yeah, it's been a while since I played this game. And it's also been quite a while since I played any of these three. I've got way more GameCube games than this. These were just some random choice ones I picked out. Oh, it's my turn. I did not know that. I'll take this one last shot from the fringe. <coughs> I just sneezed at the same time Mario did. Wow, that's a blessing. Oh, dear God. Come on, let's see what do you get. Go for it. Oh! He, he got what is called a fantastic putt. What do you have to say to that? camera off now right here you Jason is playing the one player tournament at Lakitu Valley you gotta wish him luck get an eagle No. Relax, you're still going for a par. You should have got a birdie though. Yeah. He's Mario, he sucks. Reading some of these game booklets really bring you down memory lane. Like this. Oh man, I love that birdie. Yes, par. Move. Move. My cats are still in heat. Yeah. Don't tell the world. They've been in heat for like over two weeks. And uh, no, it's not got nothing. Screenshots. Right? You know, like the first two levels of this game kind of suck. Like when you're outside going for the ten dollar bill, and then what? And then when you're in the chocolate room, that kind of sucks, but then, like, all the levels past that I actually kind of like. I know this game isn't really that well liked, but I, I like it. Then the, the robots... Hey. Then the robots game I like. Hey, go! Can I take your <laughs> and, um, Super Mario Sunshine I like.
Here's a glitch with the Charlie and the... Oh, wait, never mind. It was playing, like, the same music over and over from the start. It was like, da-da-da, da-da-da, da-da-da. All right, so anyway, here I am in the inventing room. All right, so now you go over to these two over here, the well, old man Weldy and the electrician. That sounds like a sitcom. Old man Weldy and the electrician. <laughs> All right, so you get them to... And, uh, you know, you get some of that candy if you want. And uh, this, you got to hover on your balloon to the top of the catwalk so you can hit this spinner thing. It's hard doing this with one hand while I'm holding the camera, so hang on. Let me stop it. The walkabouts. All right, now in the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory video game, Jason is in the exploding candy room fighting the robot things. No, you gotta get them all. Some, they come out of the thing a couple different times. This is hard. Not really. Just gotta keep hitting them. No, you gotta release A after you. And remember, your candy thing's getting low, so... Event eventually, if you wanna push X and just keep hitting B to, like, throw the stuff at them... Yes, that would be easier. Yeah. Oh, it's really sweet, Jesus. Just keep... Keep hitting him. He, yeah. He's going up against the exploding candy. That's Jason's favorite kind. Oh, Your life bar is the orange one next to the candy. Sweet Jesus. How do you get into the um, thing? X. I'm Dennis Leary. Okay, get up there. Release A. Oh. This is getting too complicated. Oh, I got you. So what? Uh, you still got some life left. He's a turd. Get him. Why won't I hit him? You just go in the rock. Oh, there you go. You got him. Got those fire things that come out. Inside those things. I think that he's your last one over there. Oh. Don't worry, when it don't worry, whenever you die you go alright, he's a last alright, there's two more. There's one on that side and then on the other side. Get him. Yeah. There's those fire things that come out. Alright, this should be your last time hitting. Alright, now there's one on the other side. Don't go near him when he explodes. Okay, right. now the other side. There's only one. He's your last one. Dun, 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 dun. You can get those fire things if you want, too. What do they do? Nothing. You can just get them if you want. <laughs> Alright. Boom. That should be it. Thank you. Oh, one more on the other side. Fight the last guy. Jason versus his beloved exploding candy. Get him! No! Got him. One more time. No, turn the other way. Sweet Jesus. Get him! No! Run! Run for your life! This candy looks so powerful. Why is he moving? Now you gotta use the fizzy lifting drink to like pick up the Oompa Loompa and dodge that smoke in there. How do you do that? No, don't, don't, don't restart the level. Alright, alright, go press R. R? Yeah, hold R. Hold it. Now pick the uh, fizzy lifting one. Yeah, that. And um, go right behind the Oompa Loompa and push Y immediately. Alright, press X. Go right behind him, push X, then Y, fast. Gotcha. Now go through there and push A to dodge. A to dodge the smoke. Why am 
hold, hold A to dodge. Oh, okay. Oh, you dropped him. What just happened? You came out to shoot. All right, just do that again. X, then Y real fast, yeah. Oh, push X again, I missed it. All right, there you go. Alright, then just go through that tunnel again. I like how the music in this level is like super epic. Now, go, don't go too low. Why? <laughs> because that happens. This is confusing. Now, Jace, if you see that, uh, that thing right there that was blocked off, like, go to that again. Hang on. To that. Kill that robot. See, now, that door, that right there... That is not the way out. I have no clue what that thing is. It looks like a bar, like a bunch of bars. I don't know what that is. I don't know if there's a cheat to get through there or something, or I don't know. Oh my God. Yeah. What's that? Like the bubble gum. Oh, no, that that you don't need to choose. That's AA. -A. Just A repeatedly. Don't stop pushing it, though. You got to keep pushing it. You got to move the Oompa Loompas up there with the fizzy lifting drink. How many? Two. Two. One at a time, of course, though. Your, your things kind of get... The, your candy things kind of low. Okay. You remember how to move them, right? I I I just started a new game of this today. Oh, have the welder fix that if you want to too. You push uh, up up on the D-pad for them to work. There you go. Which one this one? Well, why don't you get the welder since he's already like moving? Why would I have to do this? Oh, wait, no, 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 wait, uh, yeah, never mind, drop him, drop him real fast, and just get one of the other random ones. Gotcha. Take him to that top ledge, and as I said, I don't know what that thing behind the purple and clear wall is. All right, now go get another one. I don't think the Wonka robot thing stops, so you're just gonna have to. Or they might, I'm not gotcha. sure. Alright. Now push up on the D pad, have both of them start jumping on those things. Now push up on the D pad for the R1, too. might want to walk behind him and like sort of push him with yourself. There you go. What does that do? This. Auntie Chrissy's here. We'll see you later, Auntie. Okay, thank you for having me. Alright, close the door. Auntie Chrissy. What's going on? Give those to your mom. Alright. Tell your mom I'm lazy and I don't want to come up. Okay. What is she doing? Nothing. Playing this new game she likes on the computer. Yeah, I'll tell her I'm lazy and I want to go lay down. Okay. And I'll talk to her during the week or I'll talk to her tomorrow. Okay. Alright, honey. I'll see you, Jason. I'll see you later. Bye.